Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns, out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So, today's video, we are coming out with an update on Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury rematch. And it's coming out in the boxing scene where it states, Wilder Fury rematch headed to Barclays Center April 27th or May 18th. And it goes on to state in the article, Barclays Center lost out on the first Deontay Water Tyson Fury fight. It won't happen again. Multiple sources have informed BoxingScene.com that a deal to bring the immediate heavyweight championship rematch between Wilder and Fury to the Brooklyn venue is nearing completion. MGM Grand Garden Arena is the other site under consideration among organizers of that Showtime pay-per-view event. But a deal to announce Barclays Center as a venue for Wilder Fury 2 is expected within the next couple weeks. The Wilder Fury rematch will be scheduled either for April 27th or May 18th. Quote. Now, with this news coming out, it's actually pretty cool that it is going to be at the Barclays Center just for the simple fact is Deontay Wilder, he does have a history with the Barclays Center and the last couple of fights that he's had at the Barclays Center, he did have a very good number of people in the attendance, especially considering who he was fighting. The last couple of times when he fought there, when he fought Bermain Stavern, there were over 10,000 people in attendance. And then the last fight that he had there when he fought Luis Ortiz, he had over 14,000 people in attendance. So I'm thinking that if they do another fight there with Tyson Fury for this rematch, they are definitely going to have to expand the friggin' seating in that damn venue because I know they are going to end up packing that damn venue out. And like I said, Deontay Wilder, he does have history at that venue, so I'm pretty sure he's probably going to end up selling out this venue and they're going to be able to generate a lot of revenue at that gate for this fight. And it's a really good thing that they have these dates set, either April 27th or May 18th. So it sounds like everything within the negotiations are going according to plan for Wilder and Fury. And they don't have to worry about this fight going into a purse bid. And I wasn't really worried about it going to a purse bid anyway, just because, like I said in my last video going on this, in the first fight, it seemed like the negotiations for that first fight went super smooth and super easy. So it seems like it's going just as smooth, just as easy, and we're going to be seeing this fight coming to fruition very soon because if it's the April 27th date, then it's literally right around the corner. I would rather for that fight to be in May just for the simple fact is there are no pay-per-views going on in May, and in April, there is that Terrence Crawford Amir Khan fight that's going to be on pay-per-view that's going to be coming out. So if they end up doing the fight in May, they don't have to worry about any other pay-per-views that might end up taking the glamour or the revenue away from the pay Pay-per-view that they're going to be able to put out coming in May. All right. So I hope you guys like the video. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any kind of questions, any kind of comments, hit me up in the comment section and I'll be sure to hit you guys up. All right. So I hope you like the video. Holla at your boy.